Hi, this is Amanda with AKR Fam, and this is another episode of Budget Bride Diaries. So today I'm going to be talking about my planning binder, my wedding binder, wedding planning binder, okay, <laughs> or binders, I should say, because I ended up buying one, even though I also made one. So yeah. So not only am I going to be talking about my uh, wedding planning binder of choice, it's going to be kind of a review on this um, particular binder, but also I decided to make my own. Sometimes DIY is not always the best thing because it's not at all what I kind of envisioned. If you're going to make your own binder, make sure that you have a binder like the actual binder itself. You like that because that's what you're going to be carrying around with you for a year or more whenever you go to any of these uh, wedding planning events and you don't want to feel embarrassed or it to be cumbersome uh, and also it needs to be like laid out in a way where you feel comfortable with retrieving things and um, that kind of thing so that was not the case for me so that was a mistake and I ended up buying purchasing a, another one so I will show you what I did and then I'll show you what I purchased and do a little review on that oh. My biggest problem is look at how big this thing is okay and it's not attractive i feel like i'm going to school this because this is like the pages are so long or something you couldn't even see my page per my page dividers or whatever and i had to do like a key and it's just really <laughs> it took on a life of its own and it wasn't the best life let's put it that way um i actually looked up a um let's see a like planning wedding planning inserts that were a free download i actually like those a lot but here let me show you that's what this is and i don't even know where i got this now russell and hazel.com this is this, these were nice they were free and there's a ton of them that you can choose from so i put these in here i'm actually not going to be using these now but i think part of my problem with them is that every time you want to use them which i guess isn't isn't a horrible thing but you have to take it out of this sleeve page protector right on it put it back in if you're at like a vendor meeting or something the last thing you want to be doing is all this extra nonsense you want to just turn to the page write it and go i guess if you're going to make your own binder do more research than i did apparently i didn't do enough and um try to find something cute because these these like old plastic i guess cute may not be important to everybody but i don't know you know i just felt like this was just it just wasn't cutting it. I'm not into it. <sighs> Bummer, right? With that said, this is my new binder. This is not the actual planner. Oh yeah, that's another part. This does not have a calendar, which makes really no sense to me. Um, I don't know why it doesn't have a calendar, but it doesn't. So it's like a planner that you can't really plan anything so word of advice don't do this okay do something that actually works because this is not working this is a this was a diy disaster i ended up finding this work work style by wilson jones and if as you can see a lot more it's a lot thinner i think this is like maybe one inch it is a lot prettier it's easier to keep you know it keeps it closed I'm only going to keep my contracts in here and anything uh, like regarding the contracts and that's all I'm going to keep it because that's all I probably have to really take any place with me maybe. Um, I don't really believe that I know I guess maybe receipts would be a good thing to have in here too but that's it I'm keeping it very minor. In this one I had like everything in the world except for a calendar <laughs> okay if you end up doing DIY that does not work out, then you have to go back and do something else. It's kind of defeating the point. So I guess my message with this whole thing is if you're going to do DIY, be very, very careful because sometimes DIY can cost you more money than just buying the thing that you were trying to recreate in the first place. <laughs> All right. So this is called a Bloom Daily Planner, and this is the wedding version. This is obviously there's no customization customization i got this from amazon it's on sale right now for 29.95 i have prime so i didn't pay for any shipping and i got it in two days so what i want to do now real quick here is i want to compare it to the uh aaron condren wedding planner so i don't have the aaron condren wedding planner I did not buy that one i have bought um an aaron condren before i got one a couple years back 
and I love Erin Condon stuff. It's so much fun um, that you can, you know, do personalization and who doesn't love a good personalized item, right? So the reason why I want to compare them is because this is Budget Bride Diaries, guys. Okay, so this is all about budget and I definitely have one. And so this is about half the price, almost exactly half the price of Erin Condren's wedding planner that is just a base without any personalization at, on her site and on Amazon. It is $55 uh, for the basic, no, and without adding anything, just straight up if you don't add your name because you have to pay like $5 or something for everything you add. But if you're just getting your uh, just straight up regular 12 month calendar um, planner for your wedding, it's $55. Now this is, even on Amazon, so both places, her regular site and Amazon, this is actually 18 months, which is awesome because I'm planning on waiting to start using the calendar for a little while since I have a, a planner that way. Um, I'll probably use it in like December and then that way I'll have it for all the way 18 months from December. So I'll, I'm going to use this after, I, after I'm already married instead of buying a new planner because I always buy a new planner every year I'll just use this one until it runs out so it'll probably you know it's probably worth the money because I'll save a little bit of money there and I'll probably just put something here like uh you know a sticker or something so it's not wedding wedding planner I might just put Amanda's I might just put my name here or something I don't know anyway the fact is I can use this for a long time it's 18 months and it's uh you know it's less expensive than Erin Condren. Like I said, I have used her planners before. I did. I really liked it. I love all the stickers it came with, all the like cute little, you know, I have my name everywhere, blah, blah, It was cute. I liked it. But for this, I'm trying to be on a budget, guys, okay? I, I mean, honestly, I was trying to be on a budget and I DIY'd one and I screwed it up. So when I decided I was going to buy one, I was like, sorry, Erin, but I can't spend $55. I'm sorry, I can't do it. So yeah, I mean, as it is, uh, my fiance would probably be like, really, you bought that for 30 bucks. Okay. Yeah, I did. So, but still it's what, $25 cheaper than the other one. And I am comparing and I'm going to compare them now because I'm rambling, but if I compare them, they have almost exactly the same thing. So if you go on Erin Condren's website and it says it gives like a breakdown of what her planners are in, like include. It has wedding tips. This also has wedding tips. They have a whole section right here, advice from Bloom Girls, which is kind of cute. So the next thing in the Erin Condren book is the monthly checklist. And here again is your timeline and checklist. So it's the same situation. Okay, so they do have that as well. Wedding party is the next thing that they have in the Erin Condren. Wedding party is in the basic section. And they also have that and it just tells you just put in there who's your best man blah, 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 all that and their contact information and notes stuff like that so they have that as well vows let's see if they have that so the big day the section that's labeled the big day on the side here it has her her vows and his vows. Want, I wouldn't want Kim to write his in here because then I'm like I would read them ahead of time so that that I probably wouldn't do that but I mean, I can write mine. I have mine already written because I'm a weirdo. But yes, I could write that here. Photography and music section. Photography, the nice thing is it kind of breaks down what you would ask your photographer when you are booking your, when you're going to book them and videographer as well. And then it just tells um, all your must have shots. You can fill this out, check off the shots that you can't do without is what they say. And so, yeah, there's two, like, two pages full of different um, things that you can do. And I guess that what I would do is I will fill it out in here and then make a copy and then give it to my um, photographer, which will be helpful. So that's comparable. They have the budget work, the budget checklist. They have the guest checklist, the cake and flowers. Apparently, they don't have a dedicated cake section, which it looks like Erin Condren does have one page for cake they may have it in here but yeah i need to look at this <laughs> a little bit more but um cake section they have these they have a couple blanks uh pages where you could put pictures of what you want in your cake or just write some stuff down um on there so there are areas where you could do that uh seating arrangements they do have that i did locate that when i was 
preparing myself for this video, but I am not prepared. Clearly, I should have put bookmarks in here, and I didn't. So, yeah. Uh, they do have seating arrangements. Honeymoon, they don't have honeymoon, apparently. I think I remember that I didn't see a honeymoon section. But they do have a travel section. Yeah. To wrap this video up, because it's like... Anyway. Okay, so basically what I want to say is, if you're going to DIY your wedding planner or wedding binder, that's awesome. But make sure you have what you need in it, like a calendar. <laughs> uh, yeah, make sure that you get something that you like. Um, this just happens to be, in my opinion, a lot cuter and a lot easier to travel with than this. This is even extremely heavy. Obviously, this is empty, but this is ridiculous. Um... And then check out the Bloom Daily Planners. I'm not sponsored by Bloom. They didn't give this to me. I bought this with my own money. And I'm not sponsored by anyone, but just saying. Uh, just so you don't think that I am just giving a review because they told me to. No. I literally think this is adorable. Anyway, this is very, very comparable to the Erin Condren. Like I said, I'm not hating on Erin Condren. I love her. I love her stuff. I loved my planner that I had. Uh, a couple years back I used the heck out of that thing and I thought it was so cute and I always wanted to be like yeah it's got my name on it <laughs> I thought I was adorable right but I just really couldn't afford to do $50 $55 on that without any you know just their basic one is $55 this like I said 30 bucks $29.95 right now on sale so go check it out right away hopefully it's still on sale when you uh, get on there but basically um yeah it's important to have a uh, planner when you're planning your wedding. There's a lot of things that you're going to need to write down specifically for your wedding. Um, you can put that in any old planner. So if you're not somebody who needs to be like super organized planner, uh, you know, you may, this may not be a big deal for you. For me, it is. I plan everything seriously, um, which is why I started planning my wedding like 17 years. No, let's just say I like to plan things. So this is going to work out really well for me. I need to look at it a little bit more so I can familiarize myself with where everything is, but once I actually uh, write it out and stuff, because obviously this is still empty, then I will be also more familiar with where things are. Oh uh, yeah. So another tip I have is I went and I've seen this somewhere, so it's not like I created it. I'm not that cool, but I went um, to just like a local place that sells paint, and I got colored swatches, whatever these are called. <laughs> of uh, the colors of our wedding because I thought it'd be kind of cute like visually to have it in there so I have gold and black and white and I don't know why I think it's fun just to have different textiles different like pieces of things in here like I'm gonna put some pictures in here and stuff like that the nice thing is it's all contained so even though I'm putting it in there it's gonna be glued down or taped down whatever and it's not gonna be like all oh, flopping all over the place like the other thing so I do feel like this is a better option for me personally the other one DIY the binder thing it could be really good for somebody else just not me plus I already have you know I have three kids but two little kids and it's really difficult I'm sorry I keep looking at the baby monitor to see if Grayson's awake but it's really difficult to carry stuff around with me just like stuff everyday stuff so I feel like if I have something that's a little more contained I'll be able to handle it better if you don't have kids, which a lot of people that are getting married don't, but a lot of people also do, so who knows. If you don't have kids, that might not be a concern for you, but for me, it is. So, being able to keep this, everything kind of like secure, even the two, even though the two of these pieces together are very closely, they're, they're pretty close to the size of the other one, I may not need to take this everywhere, or I may not need to, well, I'll probably take this, but I probably won't have to take this everywhere I go. And the other thing is it's a different shape. They're round. I hope that this gave you a little bit of something because I am just like scatterbrained today. Anyway, get, get a binder, get a planner, or don't. <laughs> DIY it or don't because <laughs> that was a mistake. Get an Erin Condren or don't. I really, really suggest uh, these Bloom, Bloom Daily Planners just because it's a good budget friendly option. If you still want to look cute, you still want something, you know, that's going to make you feel professional and cute and, and organized. Um, this is a good, this is a good choice. And I'm happy that I saved $25 on it. And I still feel like it's really good quality. I mean, this is not, this is not chintzy guys. <laughs> All right. Anyway, 
So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Come on, people. What are we doing here? <laughs> and I'm going to be continuing my budget bride diaries until I'm blue in the face. No, until I'm married. Okay, I don't know. But I will definitely have more budget bride diary videos coming out to you guys. And it's every first and third Wednesday of the month. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>